I'm sure that you guys remember the official Miraculous Ladybug Instagram accounts for Adrian, Marinette, Chloe, and Alia, the ones we were like, oh my god, these are so amazing, like this is revolutionizing how a show should advertise on social media, this is such a cool idea. Yeah, those accounts, they're really, really bad now. So, um, I just want to talk about the situation because it is getting very, very frustrating and it's just super, super sad to see, especially from my perspective, to see these being like the pinnacle example. Like, I could write a whole essay, a whole report on the Miraculous Ladybug Instagram accounts and how good they were at what they were trying to do. And then they just like, and so yeah, we're going to be talking about that today. And a lot of fans have tried to bring up the criticism we're going to be talking about on Instagram. And to that, like I've seen other bitchy people reply to them, reply to them, not reply to me. Being like, oh, like, you're probably just a teenager. Like, what right do you have to criticize, like, the official Miraculous Ladybug People just getting really offended like we cannot criticize the accounts but I'm shutting that down right now just to remind you guys in case you guys forgot I'm a fourth year university student and I'm in professional communications which amongst other things is the study of public relations social media management and community management so if somebody wants to come for me and tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about I'm probably the most qualified person here to speak on it so I do not want to hear it the accounts are lazy they're uninspired they are getting really, really bad. They have lost the plot over there. It's basically erased everything that has made them special in the first place. And so that is what we are going to be talking about today. I am kind of heated about how this is going because they just ruined it. And again, from my perspective, I love to talk about this stuff. That is why this is my major. Like, I love to talk about that stuff. And Miraculous was going to be my next topic. Now, <laughs> it's kind of bad. So when we're talking about a social media account or a social media account on a platform, we have to sort of analyze like what is the goal like that's a very important thing to think of if you're you know like say for example you're starting your own YouTube channel like that is a social media account like what is the goal of that channel what are you trying to do and with Twitter and Instagram it's the same thing right so when we talk about the official miraculous accounts what was the goal and to me the goal was basically we are going to make official accounts for Chloe Marinette Alia Adrian and we are gonna make you feel like these characters are real that they exist somewhere that they are living their lives, uh, you know, outside of the time that we are seeing them in the show, uh, and that they are going to seem like they are real people living their lives, and we're going to use original photos, we're going to use captions that are original stories in order to give you that sort of feeling that they are real, and that is how we are going to illustrate that these are their lives outside of the show by bringing new original content that was never in the show to begin with, and so that was the plan. And it was incredibly well done, like the person running the account really captured the voices of the characters they were making some interesting stories like I remember like one specifically was like a party and you got to see like the party from Chloe's perspective and then Marinette's perspective and then Adrian's perspective I think and then you could see like Marinette and Adrian in the background like it was just really really cool how the social media person was able to make these stories and these narratives through all of these original pictures and everything was amazing from July 19th uh, 2019 that is when the first post started happening to around March 2020 and the virus hit obviously but even as the virus hit the account was still doing a lot of cool stuff like Alia did a character bracket of like which superhero is the best which was really really cool they were like playing games with each other like I think Alia and Adrian were doing tic-tac-toe or they all had to like draw each other or something like that like it was just really really cool the social media runner really made the best out of a bad situation and kept the accounts active then they went inactive and this is where the problems are basically starting the person that was managing the accounts they left the company and you know at this point this is probably where things started to go wrong because whoever it was they had like an amazing rhythm going and sometimes when you hire a new person right there can be some kinks to work out and all that stuff but usually like I would say it's not really this bad but this is pretty bad somehow I don't know how they fucking did this because this is ridiculous somehow they made the accounts feel too corporate but also too fan account at the exact same time and those are like that's a contradiction and I'm like how can you do that how can you make something feel too much run by a company but also too much not run by a company in that it feels like a fan made account run by a 12 year old how the fuck can you manage that and that is by taking the terrible things out of both of those categories and mixing them together like how can you be too fan 
fan account, but too official, and it is literally by taking all of the wrong parts out of them and mixing them together. It is really, really bad. So the very first thing that went wrong here was that the official account, the official account, are using low quality screenshots and GIFs from the show. Remember, it was all original pictures and captions, and now they're using low quality, not even high quality screenshots, low quality screenshots when it looks like it came from like a YouTube rip or something. It is ridiculous. And the complaints can be found on like every single post. And I'm gonna sort of cycle through some stuff on screen, probably, hopefully, editing Cal come through for me. All that stuff, like it is the top comment almost every single time. And there are always multiple comments about like, oh, you know, they took this screenshot from this episode and how low quality it is. It is embarrassing. How is it not embarrassing for you that you are an official company account and you are using low quality screenshots from your own show when the show is all on Netflix. Like you don't need to be using like the 3060p YouTube clips. You can go on Netflix and take a screenshot if you really need to and it'll be 1080p. Why are you using, why are you doing this? Like it comes off as incredibly lazy and I feel like the person that's running the account, they don't even care, right? And I feel like it's because the last person, the person that did a good job got all these followers and now the, you know, whoever is running is like, oh well, you know, we already have all the followers. Why do I need to put in the same amount of effort? Why do I need to try? We already got all the followers, right? So I feel like that's the attitude is that, oh, these accounts are already built up so they cannot fall. And that is a very bad mindset to have. So we went from using original pictures, right? That were made for the accounts that were specially made for these accounts to low quality screenshots from the show. What happened next? The actual captions, the actual captions are trash. The person who is running the account does not understand the characters at all and they're reusing the screenshots right and so these are two things that are very tied in together because you know instead of making a picture for a story right because I'm assuming that is what the old social media person did is that they had a story in mind and then they told someone or they made it themselves I don't really know how they're doing this I don't know if they needed to communicate to the animators like hey can you guys put this for me I don't know if they had their own specific kind of software I'm not really sure how they got the original pictures to begin with but here's the thing right it's much easier to create pictures for a story than to create a story around a picture especially a picture that has already been used in the show and so this has led to the captions being really really bad because the social media person is trying to sort of squish a story into a picture that already has established context if that makes sense so for example like Chloe is in this picture like oh yeah just drinking my orange juice with Sabrina and her drink is green her drink is green guys what like the green orange juice like oh my god and so like you could have said it was avocado juice or something and that just again shows the laziness that she, the person that's doing this cannot even make it make sense just make it make sense this please so people are saying like, hey, these feel like fan accounts that are run by a 12 year old. Like these do not feel like official accounts for the show anymore. The captions do not make any sense. And really the pictures don't either. Like Marinette is posting a picture of like her getting in trouble by her teacher. And I'm like, who was posting that on Instagram? And then there's another one of Alia posting a picture of Ladybug, but Alia is back here and Ladybug's in front of her. And I'm like, were you guys like looking in a mirror? Like how did you take that photo, Alia? It does not make any sense. The other thing that is so unprofessional and so ridiculous is that some of the captions are spelt wrong and weeks later, because I'm making these videos, it's not like they just posted it today and I'm roasting them, right? It has been weeks and there are still spelling mistakes in a lot of the captions that have not been fixed, right? So with Alia, you have one of my favorite picture, which makes her sound like she's a 40 year old man or something that doesn't understand how to use the internet because it's picture instead of pictures. Uh, Ladybug is spelt wrong from Alia, so that's great. Adrian is like, oh, well, hanging out with the boys, which is just not his personality at all, by the way. Like, that's a really strange thing to say from Adrian. And the worst one, or the funniest one, whatever you guys want to call it, is that Adrian is having a conversation with Nino in class, and uh, it was something like, Nino likes Cat Noir, but I think Ladybug kicks ass. Ass. Our Adrian, Adrian motherfucking aggress, said ass on the, like, the official miraculous Ladybug Instagram. Like, I don't even know. They do not feel like the characters at all. It's just really, really strange because Adrian does not, Adrian's the worst offender. Like, Adrian does not have this attitude. Like, they completely are missing the, the attitude that Adrian has canonly in the show. And they're making him, like, a dude bro. Like, oh, just hanging out with the boys. Like, boy squad, all that stuff. And I'm like, Adrian, like, who are you? And like, ah, oh, Ladybug kicks ass. Like, no, like, who are you, Adrian? You're not like this. It just feels like that they're not trying. Like, they literally are not even trying. I think the Chloe picture, that 
that is the best example, right? Because it's like, okay, you could have said avocado juice, you should, you could have said kiwi juice, you could have said a fucking smoothie, but you kept it as orange juice, even though that doesn't make any sense. And the spelling mistakes, the spelling mistakes are so completely unprofessional. Like, how are you running an account for Miraculous Ladybug, but you cannot spell Ladybug correctly, and you can't fix it after, like, four weeks, right? Like, if it was spelled incorrectly, like, and it was, like, a day, like, whatever, it's fine. People are human. People make mistakes. But you're gonna keep your mistake there? Why? Why are you gonna keep Ladybug spelt wrong on the official Miraculous Ladybug account? I do not understand. So this is why people are saying, like, these are glorified roleplay accounts. Like, these are not real anymore. The screenshots are unprofessional, completely unprofessional by how low quality they are, right? Like, there is no excuse for the screenshots being this low quality quality when all of the episodes are on Netflix. The spelling mistakes, completely unprofessional. Like, I don't understand how they are not fixed weeks later. Uh, the posts don't feel like the actual characters anymore, especially, like I said, especially Adrian. And an important thing, when you are doing content like this, you have to be able to capture the voices of the characters or the brand. And you're just not doing it, sis. Like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand how it is this bad. So you guys are probably wondering, you're like, okay, Cal, we get it. They're fit. Like, they look like fan accounts. It's bad. How did it get too corporate? Like, you guys are probably wondering, like, how did that happen? Because it doesn't seem like anything corporate is going on here with how unprofessional the accounts are. Do not take a shot every time I say unprofessional in this video. You will die. Okay, so what happened? Like, why? Like, how did it get too corporate? And it's the translations, okay? And I appreciate the fact that they are trying to be more inclusive and they're trying to translate into other languages, but let me explain. Instead of putting an effort to return these accounts to their former glory, the accounts started doing this, which is a little, little weird because again, we have to remember guys that these are supposed to be the real accounts of Adrian, Marinette, Alia, and Chloe. So please explain to me why Adrian, Marinette, Alia, and Chloe all know how to speak fucking in Russian, okay? It doesn't make any sense. And the worst part about Adrian specifically is that the canon languages we know that he speaks in the show, which are Chinese, and I think he's also learning Japanese now because of Kagami's mom. I don't exactly remember. He's like learning a little bit, right? So the Chinese, he takes Chinese lessons in the show. Chinese is not even fucking included among the eight languages that have been shoved into these posts. Like, it doesn't even feel like the real accounts anymore because it breaks the immersion. So how would I fix it, guys, because to be honest, I want this job. So I'm gonna lay out a plan about how I would fix this. Here's the first thing, okay? Keep the translation thing. I get it. I think it's super, super important, but here's the thing. Here's what they should be doing instead. Instead of making Adrian say that under his, like, other captions, if that makes sense, they should have the Miraculous Ladybug official account do the translations in the comments. And so that way it'll be at the very top or whatever, and it keeps the character integrity, because Adrian does not know eight languages. He knows uh, English, French, and Chinese, maybe, right? And so it keeps the integrity of the characters and doesn't break the immersion. If you have the Miraculous Ladybug official Instagram, which is the account for, like, news uh, and stuff like that, if you have them just post the other translations under Adrian's post and keep Adrian's post in English and French. Because I feel like, yes, Adrian knows English and French, but the fucking Russian, like, I don't, I, that does not make any sense, guys. And so I feel like that that's a good compromise. If you want to do the translations, at least do them with the official Miraculous account and so it doesn't break the immersion because it is really, really, it's just been weird. Like the Instagram accounts have been a little weird a little lately. Uh, and so the other compromise is, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's COVID. I don't know if, you know, something just broke down in the communication between the animators and like the social media team because I'm not really sure how they were doing this in the first place. I don't know if they had their own software to make the original photos. If you need to use screenshots, if you need to, okay, at least use the ones from Netflix. I don't like the idea of them using screenshots because that takes away from what the accounts were supposed to be in the first place, right? They were supposed to be original content. So here's my idea. Like this is what I would do. I would personally hire an artist to make like commissions and make art 
for the Instagram accounts instead of just recycling the screenshots from the show. So the social media person, they make the story, like whatever, like say the party example, right? They make the story of the party, they tell the artist, here is what I want drawn, and maybe it's drawn in the style of 2D Miraculous Ladybug. I think that that would be kind of cool, like when Miraculous was a 2D show instead of a 3D show. Because if they can't really use, again, the old stuff that they were using before to make original screenshots, I feel like drawn is the next best thing, because then at least you get original art and you get original stories again. I feel like that that would be the best thing to do. That's personally what I would do um, if I were them. I think that that's a better compromise and I think that's just a better idea overall is to have someone draw the original stories and then that's what like then it's something unique again. Now here's the last thing I'll say because that fixes like most of the problems we talked about but as for the captions themselves I feel like those would naturally improve if they go back to original photos but for capturing the voices of the character like I don't want to put out in the universe that somebody should be fired okay I feel like that's bad karma I feel like that's not you know that's not good that's not good uh energy to have but here's the thing if I submitted an assignment at school right in university that was littered with this many spelling errors or grammar stuff or whatever you want to call it I would get a bad grade so what do you do to a social media person whose literally only job is to manage the social media if they cannot spell and if they don't want to go back and fix their spelling mistakes like what do you do to that person that cannot spell ladybug right and cannot even be bothered to fix it I would recommend to this person directly at least just sit down and really watch the show. Get a feel for Adrian's personality, because they do an all right Chloe, the Ollie is fine, but Adrian is the one that's just like off into the stratosphere. Like, I don't know what they were thinking, especially with the kick-ass situation. But anyway, I think that what they need to consider is doing some sort of like beta testing circle, right? I suggest this all the time. Like, I love it. I love it when companies have a beta testing group of like community members or something like that, and they send them like, hey, here's photos of upcoming merch or, you know, whatever's going on to give their opinion on and give some feedback, right? And so maybe they just need a consultant. Maybe that consultant should be me. I don't know. But that's basically what I'm suggesting is that if they have some sort of beta testing group, we could be like, okay, listen, like Adrian wouldn't say that. Like, let's reword this to make it better. And I would do it for free. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm suggesting. Basically, this whole video is like, please make me an intern. Like, you guys don't need to pay me. I would love to be an intern, Miraculous Ladybug social media accounts. But yeah, I'm definitely getting blacklisted from something after this video is done. But yeah, guys, like, I just want it to be better, okay? Like, I wanted to take this this, like, you know, whole thing. Like, I wanted to take their social media accounts to school. Like, I wanted to make an assignment about this. I wanted to be like, guys, this is, like, the best thing ever. Like, look at this professor. Like, this is, like, the new thing. Like, this is, like, amazing, like, advertising and amazing content for the show. Like, popular Instagram posts like this. Like, this is great. And now I can't. Now it's gonna be, like, if I ever have an assignment saying how something started out good but turned out really, really bad and why. Like, that's what this assignment is gonna be. So I'm really, really sad because I thought this was a really good example of social media management. Now it's basically the worst I've ever seen, to be perfectly honest. Like, just the decline of it, it is literally, I think, the worst. I hope this video does not flop because <laughs> we're yeah, I'm gonna be really, really sad and I feel like that if this gets attention, maybe they'll change something. Is that conceited in myself? Maybe a little bit to think I can change anything? Maybe. But it has happened when I've made videos on other stuff before, so you know. We'll find out but yeah I love you guys I will see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed bye guys